All right, one of the one of our favorite drills that we do in at Go Wags is called the check swing drill. The swing on the left will be a check swing. The swing on the right will be a full swing. And I just want to bring a couple things to your attention. So, player slams his heel on the ground. He's starting to move on the ball. Uh, one of the things that we notice is that at this moment in time, they're ever so slightly, ever so slightly on the right, that elbow's starting to work away from his body a little bit. The one on the left, the elbow's a little bit closer. Again, the one on the left is the check swing. The, the one on the right is that full swing. And this doesn't shock us. What we, what we often find is when we, when we free a player up or when we allow him to take his full swing, many times they engage that top hand just a little too soon. And as evidence right here, you can see that barrel out and around just a little bit. It's subtle for sure. But then what tends to happen is that impact, that elbow starts to work away a little bit more on the, on the free swing than it does on the check swing. Their bat is similar angle, their body posture very, very similar on these two swings. But the reason why we like the check swing is it does reinforce a slightly better impact position. Here's another thing at play. In the, in the swing on the right, the free swing, the one where the barrel starts to work away a little bit soon, what tends to happen then is as that player tends to swing, his barrel exits the zone sooner. So here, again, same moment in time, you've got a player that I can still see the barrel, the barrel is still traveling down the line. The swing on the right, the, the barrel has already exited the zone. Now, another thing, as that barrel starts to exit the zone prematurely, it takes that, it takes that path out and around and what we see is we see that elbow starting to pinch so it shows up on the backside. That elbow in that position right there is perfectly okay if you're hitting an inside pitch, if that's the manner in which you want your bat to travel. But this ball was a pitch right down the middle and we would like to see his barrel stay down the line a little bit longer. His barrel is staying down the line as it should in the check swing drill because of that position right there is a more authentic position. The, the position on the left is a more authentic position than the position on the right. Again, why is the position on the right a little bit out and around? It's because we've allowed his left hand, his top arm, to start working a little bit sooner. So as that barrel starts to work around the ball a little bit, as evidenced by that elbow position, as he tries to stay through it, Again, he's out of the zone on the right side. He's still working through it on the left. And we see that elbow sort of leak out there on the right. Again, the reason why this elbow is sitting where it's sitting isn't because he wants to do that, but rather his barrel is forcing him to do that. Uh, off a live thrown ball, what you'll see is you'll see a lot of end of the back contact you'll see flares to the opposite field and the impetus behind all of it is right there. When we can stay inside the baseball as they say, uh, when we can keep that back elbow tucked at our side, uh, we get a better swing path and our impact position is more authentic. So again, just one check swing drill, one free swing and the difference of each.